up, you switch for the franchise guy. Coming again with a brand new episode of Madden 20 franchise mode featuring your Jacksonville Jaguars. Rondell Moore right here, 5'9 guy, first round talent, Justin Ross, 6'4. Two totally different receivers. Both of them could be first round talents right there. Jalen Waddell, Waddle maybe, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, out of Alabama, 5'10, 22 years old, deep threat. Amon Ross, same brown. Six foot, one ninety five to uh, twenty one years of old. Devonta Smith, six foot, one seventy five out of Bama. KJ Hamler, five nine again at Penn State. Good old Penn State guy right there. But taking on the Colts, Andrew look up to a superstar X factor right now. I mean, not bad, not bad at all for the former. Was the first overall draft pick right? Quinn Nelson, T.Y. Hilton, Darius Leonard, and. Devondre Campbell, all ex uh, superstars. And well, Antonio Brown and Josh Young will remain our only X Factor and superstar. But, I don't know. I mean, if you guys saw the last episode, I mean, if you guys haven't seen the last episode, so ch check the episode out first. It's in the playlist down below. As it always is, you know. For any episode at right now, we're on episode what, 55 currently. 55 episodes into this series. I think Eagles franchise only went to like 64. That's because we like I rushed it at the end. It was doing like two uploads for the last like month and a half, two months. But yeah, we're doing a lot better right now, keeping these uploads more consistent. I don't think I've missed a week. I know some a few times I've only done one upload a week instead of two uploads a week. So that might have put us behind a couple episodes. But for the most part, we are on track right there to have a pretty big series. But AB doing his AB things, having fun, you know, doing some boogieing right there, doing what he does best. I mean, you love to hate him, you hate to love him. He's just that kind of guy. He really is. Just the kind of guy you, you love to hate, you hate to love him, and you just, unless he's on your team, you don't like him. More or less who AB is. If, if I'm wrong, someone tell me I'm wrong. Because I'm pretty sure that's a little who AB is. But ETN though, on the day, almost was it, a little over 600 yards. Almost 600 yards right there. Returning 908 yards passing. Hope it hit break that 1,000 yard marker this game right here. Take a look at the O-line. Nothing special. You got Judy McCoy, ETN, Vernon Davis, and AB. Pretty good right there, I do say so myself. Three and third, three and one, third and one right now. Hand the ball off to Dalton Crozen right here. Get those dirty yards. As you know, Woods makes the tackle. Take a look at the Colts defense. Pretty good. Ryan Shazier, Leonard, Devondre Campbell's a pretty mean linebacking core. You got Kenny Moore, yeah, there's Malik Hooker, and Desir. Desir? D S I R? I mean, Pretty stacked right there. The third one, we're going to get stuffed right here. It doesn't happen often, but with our young, inexperienced O-line, it does happen more than it should, to be honest. It's fourth and two right now. We're going to go for it. We're, you know, big-time players make big-time plays, and Josh Gordon, a big-time player who makes some big-time plays, getting that 27-yard pickup right there, 13 yards after the catch. Could not be any better than that right there, really. Gordon again. No, oh, I'm sorry. I was actually uh, Jerry Judy called on this time for the big first down completion. That's 64 yards, almost at a thousand yards so far in the season. And we're gonna hit a wide open Vernon Davis. Just a little bit of a stutter step, and gets in there for a touchdown. His 11th touchdown on the season. Not bad game at all. At least to start off with. It's only been a couple minutes. Luck goes down via the sack. Lewis gets in there to start off with, I believe, Osman with Marsh finish it off. One of the two doesn't really show us who uh, got in there to finish it, but it's either going to be Osman or Marsh. He is a linebacker. Josh Allen, though, this time. No one's going to doubt he got to the quarterback as it is a fourth and 25 now. Two sacks on this drive as Angelo just got mauled by the Jaguars' D-line. I mean, we're not quite Saxonville yet, 
but uh, we're undisciplined like Saxon, but I'll tell you that as we do get the roughing the punter. So, no, every time we get the roughing the punter, it says, oh, if it was a running into, it's only a five yard, it's not a first down. But roughing's on that first down. I mean, I don't think running into the punter is a penalty in this game. I don't think it is. I think it's roughing the, I think it's roughing the kicker, roughing the punter's all you get. You have no other one. But after that, you know, luck gets a big break right there. 46 yard pass. Third and 10 now. Can we get to the quarterback? And yes, we can right there. T. Lewis gets to him again. It's going to be his first, first full sack of the game. Fifth sack on the season. I mean, hey. If you could be as, uh, I guess, explosive as D-line can be at times. We have a bright future. I mean, the only thing with our D-line is it's only thing it's going to do is get better from here. Only thing it's going to do. But big field goal right now, and it's going to be going to be short. It's going to be short right there. I mean, Steven Guskowski, former Patriots, so it's like a Colts like their Patriots kickers as they went from Vinatieri to Guskowski right there. But ETN, big boy yards right there, huge pickup. Third and five now in the second quarter. Seven minutes on the dot left. And ETN, another first down on the ground. Seven rushes for 45 yards. 6.4 yards a carry. I mean, not bad, not bad at all for the first round draft pick. First and ten now. Brom under center. Laying that clock tick down. Hands off to ETN. ETN. Makes a move, makes a move, and it's going to be an injury time out here as Kashawn Glass, our center, goes down with an injury. Second, six now, ETN again, unfazed by Glass going down. And he's going to get another first down right there. Nine rushes, 61 yards on the ground right there. Kashawn Glass has an elbow sprain, low injury risk, so he'll probably come back in soon. Just give him a breather right there, make sure that's all taped up, and make sure he won't re-aggravate it. You know, Scarborough now in the red zone on the five. You know, gets only two yards on that, so it's gonna be a fourth and three right now. And we're gonna hand off to Scarborough again. Worst comes to worst, we get stopped at the one. I mean, that means they're gonna start at the one right now. First and ten though for these Colts. Colts gonna get blocked and stopped in the end zone. It's gonna be a safety right there. Yeah, that's why we're gonna go for it on fourth and uh, fourth and three right there, where we at. So look at that, just push them back, keep, what was that, Hines, Hines, maybe it's Mac, Mac. Just keep Mac in the end zone, I mean, that's not even a good running back to go to in the end zone like that, you want to go to like a power back. But, Scarborough again, some more touches right there, four carries, 23 yards so far, a little over five yards carry. Second nine right now, LaShawn McCoy being shady right here, it gets to the outside, it gets around the one defender, gets... Around the second defender, and the third defender does chase him down right there. So three rushes, 44 yards, four shady right now. And I mean, hey, Matt Hedrick went a thousand yards offense. I mean, he got a thousand yards offense. Not bad. But second ten though, Brom will go down to gathers with the sack right there, the first sack allowed on the day so far for this Jaguars team. Brom runs out wide. Vernon Davis cannot get out wide. As he'll be tackled down on the 12-yard line, 4th and 9. Vinatieri's kick will be good, though, so Vinatieri will extend the lead to 12 points with that field goal right there. Minute 46 left in the game, I guess in the quarter, for the Colts. And look at that. Tight end gets wide open and gets it all the way down to that 30-yard line. 35-yard line, actually. But Eric Ebron, just a huge pickup for these Colts. An absolute bust in Detroit, but with the Colts, he's like Gronkowski. And next play right there, going to find none other than one of his trusty receivers right there for another big pickup. So back-to-back, -back, huge pickups for Luck and the Colts. First and 10 now, and let's look at that. Wide open, he is right there. He's going to dance on us, and we're idiots dancing on us because he had a wide open touchdown. Wow, I'm good for you. I'm good. No one covered you. But look at that. Rookie mistake right there by Jake from overthrowing Josh Gordon, who had plenty of room to make it work. Fourth and ten now. 35 seconds left. From. And there he goes. Vernon Davis with the basket catch. So we go to the same play again. Just switch up the receiver. 
and Fromm just drops it into his hands right there. That's not Vernon Davis, is it? Was that Vernon Davis? Was that Vernon Davis or that number 89 I just threw to? Who knows? Well, I don't know, clearly. But coming off of that big pickup right there, she, uh, Sheard was going to get a sack right there. Third and four now for these Jaguars. And Fromm will get sacked. He's going to cough up the ball. And hey, they're going to pick it up, unfortunately. That's not what we wanted right there. We went from cruising to you know, playing defense right now. We don't want to play any defense on this. Especially now because he's got blocked in the back and they're not going to call it. And that game will now be led by the Colts as three plays have changed this entire game. Colts now lead the game as the late game goes into the third quarter. Get the you know, kick off, start the half. And, well, they're already cruising. You know, Lux dot in for a superstar X Factor. And second and one will be a first down right here to Niles Hines. First and ten, though. Luck going to get sacked right here. Loss of a few right there. Josh Allen gets his second and a half sack of the game. Seven yard loss on that sack in particular for Andrew Luck. Third and 15 now for Luck and the Colts. Allen on the edge right there. Pressure will become. He'll be hit as he's thrown. And Nate Landman, the linebacker. Oh my lord. After a big game last episode, comes up again with another interception. That is a big-time play by a big-time player. Nate Landman, don't remember when we drafted him. Don't remember if he even did draft him, if he is a free agent or not, we signed. But, hey, he's come up clutch this season so far. The offensive line coming up clutch, though, as he just gives plenty of time to find a wide-open A.B. Not really wide open to to go over the defensive back right there. But he does come down with the catch. Under 10 yards passing so far for Jacksonville. Not bad on the day. They're going to follow that big pass and play up with a sack right here. That's uh, not what you want. Second 16 now. Got to avoid another sack. And guess what? In avoiding another sack, we get sacked again. Sheard comes through again. His second sack on the day. Like, come on. Like, what, what are we doing here? Third and 25. Come on. No sacks. No sacks. No sacks right there. Has the AB come down with it? And AB, yes, he does come down with it. Big time pickup right there, first and ten. From under center, fires, gets his man. It's going to be Jerry Judy for the first down. Got 183 yards passing on the day so far for Fromm. Not bad at all, not bad. From now, under center, there he goes, drops back, fires, gets his man. It's going to be Judy again for the first down. And now first and ten on the seven-yard line. Here we go again, dropping back, and he's going to get sacked. Four loss of eight yards right there. Not Gucci, my dude. Not Gucci. But from resilient guy he is. Comes back with that. Big touchdown pass to Josh Gordon. You know, Got to keep that train moving. Gordon gets his fifth touchdown of the season. I mean, has slowed down a little bit since AB has come over to the team. But I do feel like Gordon is still a big part of this team as a whole. Allen, though, comes around the edge right there, gets his third and a half sack of the game. Third and 20 now for the Colts. And fourth pass was pretty sure it was caught right there for a brief second. It's going to be batted away by the linebacker as he loses it on contact. Fourth quarter now, 746 left. Etienne with it, just tries to get all the way outside, cannot quite get there. But he does get the big pickup, 10 rushes, 83 yards. Not a bad game, really, for the rookie running back. And there you go. Bad down, third and eight. Lucky that wasn't picked off, because I've seen plenty of those passes that should be batted down, intercepted, and taken to the house. Third and two now for the Colts, and the Colts will indeed get the first down right here. Got Mack, two rushes, four yards. He also has, got stopped in the end zone for a safety. Second and three now for these Colts, and... And the ball off once again, and going to be another first down on the ground. So Hines now, three rushes, just over 10 yards. First and 10 for the Colts. Luck stay in pocket forever, it seems like. And look at that perfect timing user pick, Levante Taylor, 
gets an interception right there. And that's probably going to seal this game right there. Taylor with his second interception on the game. I think last episode I said he had like four or five. I think I was thinking of Craven LeBlanc, who did have four interceptions. Who does have four interceptions on the season. I mean, 2.52 left on the clock. And we're going to hand the ball off to Bo Scarborough on third down. Gets that nitty gritty first down. Third and eight. We try to fire that off, but no, it doesn't matter. Gets sacked. You know, second 14 now for the Colts. Colts with a minute 26 left. Get a first down. So, I mean, they're, 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 you know, backs against the wall now. Third and four now. 40 seconds left on the clock. I mean, no pressure whatsoever. And, of course, it, though, I thought he had it for a second. It's broken up at the last second with 36 seconds left on the clock. Fourth and four now for the Colts. And the Colts... Will fire and it will be incomplete, broken up by Craven LeBlanc right there. I mean, hey, Craven LeBlanc coming up clutch. Six seconds left now. Hand the ball off to ETN one more time. ETN tries to get a garbage time touchdown, but does not though. One second left. Garbage time touchdown and a garbage time touchdown. ETN will get. Looks like he'll also break a hundred yards rushing on the day for the rookie running back. So not a bad game at all for. Travis Etienne, I mean, passing yards, 152, got out underpassed by, got outpassed by the Colts, but we outran the Colts by about 185 yards right there, so, more than 10 times the yard, really, but, from 142, I mean, 12 for 18, 210, two touchdowns, no picks for From, way to go From, Etienne had 117 yards rushing on the day, and a garbage time touchdown, LaShawn McCoy, Right there, 4 for 46, right there, 11.5 yards. Bo Scarborough, 7 for 28, Crozen 4 for 12, and AB, 1 for negative 3. Receiving was led today by none other than AB himself, 3 for 72. Judy had 3 catches for 44. Gordon had 2 for 42 and a touchdown. Chad Williams had 1 for 33, and Reynolds had 3 for 19 and a touchdown. Blocking Sam Smith, Kashawn Glass, and Tega. All at sacks. Defense was led by Nate Landman with seven tackles and an interception. Nate Landman, pretty much a defensive stalwart right now. Josh Allen had three and a half sacks on the day. Lewis had one and a half sacks in the day. I mean, not many tackles going around. Osman had a half a sack right there. So Osman did get in on the Lewis half sack. So not bad at all. As you see, everyone just kind of muddled around on defense as Levante Taylor does have a pick, though. So that's at least something right there. Something that someone did. Kicking Vinatieri was 1 for 1 and 3 for 3 from extra point. Punting Townsend at 2 for 105 yards. Not bad day from the next Pat McAfee. And ETN did, just does what ETN does on the returns. Josh Allen going to upgrade his run stopper and upgrade his speed rusher. I mean, it's a tough one. You want him to stop the run, you want him to hit the quarterback. Because I've been... Let's start the run, though, because we do need to have a defensive end that can, you know, close down one side. Before the run, force them all to one side so it's easier to play it. But ETN now gets to upgrade his elusive back, gets him up to a 76 overall. I mean, I believe he's still got a hidden dev trait. I know Jake Fromm has a hidden dev trait, though. Gonna upgrade his... Field General, maybe? I mean, Field General, yeah, definitely. Gonna make him a more consistent guy right there. His awareness gotta go up, play is going up. The accuracy medium and short will all go up. Bang Cleveland. Not a not a bad offensive lineman right now. 70 overall. Terrell Lewis, the outside linebacker, gonna get an upgrade right there. Gonna upgrade his run stopper, it looks like. I mean run stopper is what is a scheme fit. Make him a nice 70 overall. Chase Vinatieri, Adam's nephew. Gets an upgrade, more or less just taking up a roster spot right there. So we will have a free roster spot. Next year when Adam does not return. Johnny Townsend, though, the punter, gets an upgrade. Upgrade his accuracy. This will get, uh, I don't know, we're actually, getting, uh, we're actually getting some accuracy for once. Wow, not just awareness. Charlie over here gets an upgrade. Upgrade his blocking to a 59. Not great for blocking, but hey, still better than 58. Cooper White, the right tackle. Upgrade his agility since he's so low. Just needs just need an even amount at this point. Thurston Armbruster's on a long-term contract. Those had a huge season last year, like 132 tackles for us. 
upgrade his run stopper. He's just going to be a real big depth support guy for us, really. Uh, Jamario Foster right here, going to get an upgrade. But if you guys liked the episode, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you guys have missed any episodes of this series, just post down below. It has all the other episodes. There's like 55 of them. Just on YouTube, peace out, rock on, and stay super classy, my dudes.